Hello, how are you? Good to see you. Okay, so today you are in because we are going to conduct a hearing test. And just before we begin, I know that I know you, uh, but just to confirm a few details for our systems, if that's okay. So can I just, I know we've already gone through this a million times, but it is just a formality, so if you bear with me. Uh, can I just confirm your date of birth? And your first name, second name, any middle names if you have them, and the first line of your home address, your postcode, your contact telephone number, that can be mobile or landline. And finally, just your email address in case we need to send you any information. Okay, and we're also now trying where we can to go paper light. Um, so would you prefer us to send you any appointment letters or anything like that in the post, or are you happy to receive them via email? Okay, fantastic. Thank you. And that's it. Okay. So the hearing test today will be done in a number of stages. First off, I'll start with a basic examination of your ears, um, just checking everything's okay. Um, then we'll look at some pure tone audiometry. And that's where we use a device that basically sends uh, different, well, eight frequencies through your skull um, and that gives us an audiogram that we can use to plot points of hearing sensitivity. Now at the same time as doing this I'll be also be performing an LCT. Now, an LCT test is just a light click test. What this does is while those frequencies going through your skull there'll be a little light device which is it's just an, the otoscope with a click and that click will be latent for a bit, there'll be a latency to it, a delay. And what we want to do is get the right frequency with it so that there is no latency. So basically the, the light and the click are aligned and then we can use that to correlate any information against the audiogram that we'll be taking with the audiometry, okay? Now that sounds a little bit intimidating, but don't worry, it's actually kind of fun and relaxing. After that, we'll be looking at um, the Weber and Rin test, which is just using a tuning fork on your mastoid and the temporal bone to test conductive hearing loss, um, and also uh, some sensory hearing as well. And finally, we'll finish off with the Hint test, which is hearing in noise, where I'll be making some noise with my hand in one ear, whilst I'm whispering in the other, and you'll be repeating words. Um, and you know, it'll just help us to see uh, what your hearing is like in environments where there is a lot of noise, like the work that's going on outside the hospital today. <laughs> okay, so let's just get the old gloves on. Okay, put our left ear in first. There he is, and right ear. Okay, right, so to start off with, we'll just be doing a very light inspection of your ears with the otoscope, hello, um, and I'll be talking you through what's happening while I'm doing it, but I'll be whispering very quietly, obviously, because I don't want to disrupt any of your hearing functionality, okay? So if it's all right with you, we'll start with your left ear and work from there, okay, right. Okay, so just let me for two seconds while I just pull your ear back slightly so I can just pull the outscope in. And check to see what's going on. So here we're just checking to see if your ear canal is free of wax. Eardrum or tympanic membrane is free from any infection or perforation. And if the eardrum is indeed perforated, it'll be very clear early on. But I'm pleased to say that it looks to me like everything's fine. We have to be sure. 
right, your left ear looks fine. So over to your right ear, okay? And again, I'll be as quiet as I can. Okay, well that's all looking fine. Obviously hearing loss can happen for a number of reasons. It can be related to a genetic disorder, aging, um, along with things such as exposure to noise pollution and even birth complications. But typically what we find is that people will have an infection or a trauma to the ear, like maybe they've put something in it that they shouldn't have. Um, and certain medications or toxins can also have a negative effect on hearing. Um, but those kind of symptoms, or well, symptoms of those kind of problems would be present during an inspection. Now, what we use the pure tone audiometry for is to check mainly genetic hear loss, hearing loss, or um, aging ear loss, oh, sorry, or aging hearing loss. Um, and it can also detect whether or not it's sort of, if it's a degenerative issue. Okay, so, now you've seen this device before. What we're going to do, is basically, hook up these electrodes to the, um, the mastoid on your skull, which is just behind your ears, okay? And then we're gonna send different wave, waves through on different frequencies, all right? So there'll be eight different frequencies that we'll work through. And whilst I'm doing that, I will be shining a pen light directly into your eye, like this, and asking you to tell me when you can hear a click in relation to when I press the light on. We'll do a test run because that was very confusing and I garbled my words, but uh, hopefully it'll become clear as we go, so. Just let me pop these electrodes on. Okay, so it's just either side of the mastoid, okay, which is just below so sort of that lumpy bit just behind the ears where it feels like the skull is meeting the spine, okay? Here we go. Just pop those on. Okay, perfect. And so with this, I'll just be changing the frequency as and when you tell me that the latency gets better. So I'm gonna put a frequency on now it should be a very low frequency, okay? And it should be quite, it's just not uncomfortable, it should be pleasant. And what I'll do is when I put this on, when I shine this light into your eye, there should be a click. Did you hear that? Yeah, okay. That was delayed, so what we'll need to do is we'll change the frequency in order to sync up the click with the light in your eye, okay, until it's completely in line with when I press down on the oscope, okay? So, with that frequency, we're going to do it again. Okay, I'm going to put the frequency up to number two. to number three. 
three. data that we've got on here okay so looking at this it looks like the most correlated one was six okay so I'm going to put that on again and just do it one more time and you tell me how close the click is to the light here we go okay perfect one more time And that's it. And we'll just take that data, analyze it, then we can work out if basically different points of hearing sensitivity. Okay? So I'll just take these off. Put that away. Right, perfect. So, the next thing is the Weber and Wren, Wren test, which is a tuning fork here, which initially I'll be putting on your temporal bone. And you just need to basically tell me when you can stop hearing the ring. So you won't be able to hear it right now very well because I haven't put it on anything, but you will when I do and you'll see what I mean. So we'll start off with the left hand side. So what I'll be doing is hitting my leg I'm putting it on you like this. Okay, and again. side. And one more time. Okay. And was there any difference between the two? Okay. Which side was stronger? All right. Now we're we doing the same thing, but on the top of your head. Okay. So that'll test for hearing loss within the cortex of the brain. All right, now I've been hitting my leg and it hurts quite a lot, so I'll try to get this done as quickly as possible, <laughs> okay? Right, here we go. And again. Okay, perfect, thank you. And um, how is that on the top of your head? Yeah? Okay. Finally, what we're doing is the hint test, where in one ear, I'll be making glove sounds, and on the other ear, I will be whispering random words. And what I want you to do is repeat the random words. Now I'm going to be making them up, so I apologize if any are very strange, but hopefully they'll be all right, okay? So I'll start whispering your left ear and doing this in your right ear. Okay, so. Book. Read. Castle.
Okay, is that okay? And in the other ear. Pretty much it so um that all looks okay what i'll do though is with the audiometry we'll get some results back and i will email them to you so you know exactly what needs to be done but otherwise i think everything looks fine so with that in mind have a good rest of the day okay bye, -bye.